breaking news simon epa the leader of the biafra government in exile has raised concerns over what he claims to be the fifth assassination attempt on his life epa who has been vocal about his support for biafra's independence made this disclosure known he made this allegation in a statement released by his ex account and then simon epa asserted that a suicide bomber had been dis dispatched from abuja nigeria with the intention of targeting him in finland where he currently resides Simon Epa described the alleged plot as the latest in the series of attempts to silence his ongoing struggle for the succession of Biafra in Nigeria. In a statement, Simon Epa conveyed his resolve to continue his activism, stating that such threats would not deter him from his mission, sending suicide bombers to Finland to attack Simon Epa is their last option, and they have departed from Abuja Airport, Epa wrote. He claimed that he and his associates were closely monitoring the situation from the time the alleged bomber departed from Abuja Airport until the arrival in Finland. Epa's assertion has added another layer to the tension. Uh, another layer of tension to the already continuous issues of the Biafra's independence. The leader has been a polar, uh, polarizing figure, has been a polarizing figure, particularly due to his militant rhetoric and his uncompromising stare on Biafra's secession. His claims of multiple ass assassination attempts underscores the dangerous nature of his activism and his high stakes and the high stakes involved in the biafra mo independence movement so we have simon epa who alleged that some suicide bomber allegedly deployed from abuja headed for finland tried to take his life amid his struggle for the biafra liberation in recent times epa said he is monitoring the situation and assured that Biafra's independence will triumph over any attempts. Simon Epa noted that this man will surely uh, be caught and his identity would be exposed. So this is really interesting. Simon Epa alleging threats of uh, assassination once again. I don't know what's really happening. That Simon Epa, uh, that people are coming after Simon Epa even in Finland. Is it that? Those that are trying to get him to Nigeria have not succeeded, so they decided to go to Finland to get him in Finland. I mean, what's really happening? How many enemies does Simon Epa has that people are going to come after him to take his life whatsoever? This is really, really interesting and shocking at the same time. This is like the fifth assassination attempt on Simon Epa, according to Simon Epa. So... The Biafra's leader's uh, statement included a warning to those allegedly involved in the plot, suggesting that the attempt on his life was a sign of desperation, which he noted that he is waiting for them, that their po uh, fin Finland concert knows already that this plot is going to fail and this person will be in a hot pot of soup. Epa's unwavering commitment to Biafra's struggle was also evident in his statement as he vowed that the struggle would continue regardless of the threat against him and remain committed to Biafra independence. It's like the fifth attempt and now sending terrorists to Europe, he declared, would further fuel concerns over the lines at which his opponents would go to stop him. You see, this situation highlights the complex and often dangerous dynamics surrounding the, independ the, the, the Biafra independence movement. Epa's allegations of uh, assassination attempts, particularly moving international elements, such as the deployment of a suicide bomber to Finland, raises serious questions about the extent of the conflict and the potential for it to uh, spill beyond Nigeria's uh, boundaries. 
and Epa has positioned himself as a center figure in the Biafra's independence movement, which often uses his platform to rally support and issue statements that draws international attention to the cause. His allegations of assassination attempts are not new, but um, the claim that a suicide bomber has been sent to Finland marks an escalation in the threats he faces. The latest development is likely to intensify scrutiny on the Nigerian government's handling of the Biafran issue and its efforts to uh, contain the separatist movement. While EPA did not provide concrete evidence to support his claim, the seriousness of these allegations cannot be dismissed given the volatile nature of the Biafra struggle and the Biafra independence movement which seeks to establish a separate state for the Igbo people in the southeastern Nigeria has been a source of tension in the country for decades. The movement gained international attention in the 1960s during the Nigerian Civil War, also known as the Biafra War, which resulted in significant loss of lives and widespread devastation. In recent years, Nigeria has seen the resurgence with leaders like Simon Epa advocating for a renewed push for independence. However, the Nigerian government has constantly opposed any attempts at a secession, viewing them as a threat to the country's unity and stability. Simon Epa's claim of assassination attempts are likely uh, to draw a mixed reactions with some viewing them as a legitimate expression of the dangers faced by Biafra activists, while others may not see them as a ploy to while others may see them as a ploy to gain our sympathy and support for the cause. So guys, what are your thoughts on Simon Epa's alleged assassination attempt and his reiteration on his commitment to the Biafra independence for the Biafra liberation and the Biafra struggle in Nigeria. I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.